mi corazón no puede estar sin ti amor Good morning from Curacao Unfortunately I don't have any time to have breakfast at the Hemingway restaurant because it's 7 a.m. and we have to get to Private Bay Today we're going to Clan Curacao or Little Curacao which is supposed to be a beautiful beautiful mini island so let's see here we are pirate nest the place where we're going to depart for clan curacao so we're boarding the boat and this is supposed to be a hell of a ride but like literally a hell of a ride i don't get seasick easily even in thailand with the crazy boats and everything i was fine so we'll see if i survive so this is the boat and i think we're going to sail back but i'm not sure We'll see. Oh, and there's breakfast provided. Rolls with cheese and with ham. I found a spot in the middle of the boat. So, look, sitting in the middle. And I heard from Lotte, reliable source, I think that this is the best seat to not get seasick. So, fingers crossed. And right now, we're gonna have breakfast. We do not allow you to sit on these nettings on the way to climb to yourself. Reason is, you work like trampoline, but the trampoline won't land you on the same spot. Well, this guy just described this trip as we're gonna go through hell to get to paradise. So, brace yourself. And I'm sitting inside because I don't want to get wet. We picked up speed and the boat is definitely massively shaking. But this part is actually really nice. I feel like I'm in a, in a little roller coaster. And honestly, I could take a nap here. It's, this is a really good spot. I'm just gonna try to show you how massively the boat is rocking. It's like being in a small roller coaster. TC, KC. <laughs> so, this is absolutely the worst spot to sit because you don't have any fresh air. I lost my breakfast three times. I never get seasick. And I can absolutely confirm this is the worst boat ride ever. This is definitely. One way, one way. One way? Yeah. On the back, it's better? Yeah. The other way will be perfect. Okay, perfect. So we survived hell. We, survived hell. we can enjoy paradise now. Enjoy paradise. Yeah, <laughs> let's go outside and enjoy paradise. Yeah, this pretty much looks like paradise. Look at this crystal clear blue water. Wow. This pretty much equals getting lost in paradise. Holy snap, look at this. Corazón, no puede estar sin ti amor, solo con tu calor me siento en el aire, no tengo ningún dolor, quiero que me das color en la vida y que yo te llevo en la luna, que tú eres como ninguna. Dame tu cuerpo, dame tu corazón, tu cuerpo. Also, the wind is blowing like really hard, so I can. Uh, I hope you can hear me. But thank you so much for the people who told me to go because you gave me the experience of a lifetime. Like, look at this place. This is like, if you ever wondered what paradise looks like or a deserted island, you need to come to Klein Curacao because it's. <gasps> also, next hoping I will see dolphins today. I have one mission, and that's not to burn because the sun here is crazy i am putting on sunscreen like every 30 minutes or something yeah let's see if i'll succeed we have a situation like a real castaway situation apparently the boat was going well the dinky was going to the boat where's the boat where's the boat oh over here 
at 12.30, but they didn't mention like you should be here at 12.30. They just said like the lunch is at 12.30. So now I will have to swim to the boat, which is fine, but I can't bring you with me because you know, water and stuff like that. So I can't chew you lunch. I can't take you to lunch, baby. This sucks. Well, I am hungry though, so I'm gonna swim and then I'll see you later. Lunch was freaking perfect. They had like veggie burgers for me and there was rice and beans. It was delicious. Right now we have one more hour left, unfortunately. I just asked some other uh, people who are with us if they went around the island and they said like, yeah, but it's, there's not that much to see. And I also saw that online. So we're just gonna spend more time in the water. <laughs> journey is so much more peaceful this is actually really relaxing I could do this all day and we're back I had so much fun talking to a girl who watches Masha's vlogs so Amy it was so nice to meet you Mashi thank you for bringing girls together all over the world right now I'm just going back to Lion's Dive and see what Didi is up to because we're supposed to have dinner together uh oh I just noticed I got sand cramping my camera because it didn't want to open but I just wanted to film everything on that beautiful island and seriously if you have any doubts if you should do it because I had a lot of doubts people either think it's like meh or they love it just like I did I would say go it's such an amazing experience I wouldn't say that though if the the journey back was the same hell as the journey on our way there because hell is exactly the right word for that journey <laughs> but the back uh, the return journey was was really fine and I just had a lot of fun and now I'm back to my room with I can't I can't this is like the view of my room what the hell <laughs> our room you're hanging out with me right need to take a shower first you need to see this because it's so freaking cute so what happens when you are staying like right at the beach every time you come in your whole room is covered in sand so every time i wanted to step into the bed my feet were like completely covered in sand well not that completely covered but there was like sand under my feet so i had like a mini towel here a mini towel at the shower a mini towel like here because it just felt disgusting so the maid the sweetheart that she is because she saw me doing this for like two days or something and <laughs> look at this wait <laughs> she made me a small doormat she was like girl girl this is such a better solution <laughs> and it is actually because my feet are sand free right now <laughs> by the way my mission to not get burned failed last minute on the boat because i was too stubborn and it was so nice laying on the front deck that I got a little bit burned uh, on my on my back and also my feet got burned 
because you know there's always sand on it and you don't want to put a sun uh, sunscreen on the sand so yeah my feet got burned my hands got burned a little bit and I got burned a little bit over her as well this is entirely my own fault of course it is but like I knew laying there on that boat with the wind and everything you can't feel the heat you get burned in like 15 minutes and I still kept laying there don't do that Deet was home earlier and she needed to do something so I'm just gonna have dinner by myself and because this is our last night in Curacao I wanted to have dinner at Ginger I wanted to go there before because they have paneer and so Ona also told me like yeah you really have to go because it's a good restaurant so I think this is the opportunity to try it out there we go cute street Ginger over her oh this place is really cute very heavy tables and those stairs so pretty never not eating Indian food <laughs> did you seriously have any doubts about what dish I would put from that menu paneer baby paneer all the way even in Curacao mm. Mm. this is really good Indian food there's actually there are two Indian men sitting here in the restaurant. Sorry, talking with my mouth full. Indian food will do that to you. That was some mind-blowing good Indian food. Highly recommend it. And also to celebrate our last night in Curacao, I ordered this dessert. So this is caramel, no chocolate caramel walnut pie with some vanilla ice cream and oh, it looks so delicious. Okay. Mm. The cake's a little bit dry, but the, the ice cream makes it really good. I did something so brilliantly. I was supposed to go over to Didi's house right now just to hang out for like an hour and talk and chat, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so she sent me the location through WhatsApp and she told me like, oh, but you can... Um, you can also put in the name of this gas station in uh, Google Maps and then you'll find it too because I live next to that gas station. So that's the only thing I remembered. And I put in that gas station on Google Maps. Uh, Google Maps. And do you see this problem coming? Like I'm here at the gas station. I've been driving around. I don't know like where her house is. I, I've been... <laughs> This is like, I feel like like I'm in a uh, home alone, you know, I'm just driving through the neighborhood Just hoping to see her car in front of the door of some house. I have no idea what her house number is It this is ridiculous. Why didn't I put in just her address or something? I'm just gonna go back to the hotel because I don't have any Wi-Fi here and <sighs> This sucks Seriously, look how bad my sunburn is and it's the same on my back. It's horrible. Why? Why? Why did I do this to myself? Uh, this was seriously a massive fail and I was so bummed out to be very honest. But today I talked to Didi and she was like, Oh, I understand I live in a gated community so you would never have been able to enter the terrain and see my car. So... Tomorrow, I'm just going to drive by her office on my way to the airport. Just give her a big massive hug and then we'll, I hope we'll see each other in, in, in the Netherlands again. For now, I am signing off. Look at the pretty pink bird. If you like this vlog, please put a thumbs up. Klein Curacao was pretty, right? So if you want more travel vlogs, because I make these travel vlogs every day that I'm traveling, Please click that subscribe button and also I make a travel related video on Saturday and I am going back to India end of September so I make a road back to India video every Sunday. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!